Hey guys, I get a lot of questions about my process, so I decided I'd do a little video of my most recent painting of Kylo Ren. Hope you guys enjoy. This is my process. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so once you have a layout that you're happy with, you can start blocking in the basic colors and start getting the general mood of the piece. For the block-in, I'm mostly using one of Shiyun's brushes and a brush that I created myself. Um, just because they kind of have a rough edge, which I kind of like. So here I'm laying in my background trees, and with trees you want to make sure they feel natural. So a good trick for that is spacing them close together and far away. So what that means is if you have two that are really close together, the next one will be kind of far away. Here I'm using a really bright green to trace the silhouette of the drawing that I was happy with. And I use this color because it's easy to see off the background and I can really make sure the design of the silhouette is what I want it to be. Every once in a while you'll see me turn on and off the line layer. This is so I can check the painting to see if the shapes are working. So now I'm starting to block in some of the light on Kylo. And starting to block in some of the other important elements of the painting like Kylo's lightsaber and the lightsaber hilt. And I kind of put the glow in there to get a feel for what the painting might be at the end because I know I want a really strong glow. Here I'm blocking in the mask, and this is probably too bright, and Photoshop has made me a little bit lazy, but I'll, I'll just adjust it and bring it down later. I'm putting a little bit more light onto Kylo, and I'm just assuming that there's kind of a diffused light from above that's lighting the rest of the scene, and uh, the real drama from this will come from the glow and the lightsaber. Starting to do a little bit of rendering on Kylo's helmet, but I don't want to go too far. Um, for me, it's kind of fun to see how kind of graphic you can keep it and still get the feeling of the materials you want. So I'm starting to modulate some of the lighting a bit and adding that glow to the ground to kind of help define the ground plane. I wanted to bring some more atmosphere into this, so I started darkening the background a bit, blacking in the foreground here. Kind of taking a step back, checking to see if everything's okay. Let's see, I'm adding another tree. Also playing with the spacing again of the trees. Like I said, close together far away is a good rule of thumb for natural placement of organic objects. It's very rare in nature that you'll see three mountains equidistant of each other or three trees equidistant of each other. Um, so you want to try and use that rule. So after I placed some more of my trees, I was kind of noticing that the snow felt a little flat and it didn't have enough dimension or texture or roll to it, so I wanted to make sure I got that in there. I noticed after I watched the screen recording that I zoom in and out a lot, and it's kind of annoying, so sorry about that. I'll try not to do it in the next video. So I'm still playing around kind of with the detail of the trees. Start doing some rendering on the foreground here. I didn't do too much here because I was planning on blurring them a little later on. Starting to push some of those trees in the, in the background back so that it kind of meshes with the atmosphere. We want, we want to make sure that this painting feels like there's a lot of atmosphere and there's some cold in the air and, it, and that it feels really thick because I'll be adding some snow later so it'll feel, feel better that way. So the snow in the foreground was feeling a bit separated so I darkened that up so that it kind of feels more unified and then I'll unify the background here a bit, play with the values. And now I saved the the lightsaber highlights for last because I felt like that'd probably be the most fun and it's kind of the last part of the painting. Here I'm going to render it a bit but also like again I don't want to go too far. I'm going to go back in here and erase out some of the brighter spots so that it feels like the light, the highlights are brightest closest to the source. So I'll grab a big scatter brush and start laying in the snow. Uh, I did a second layer and kind of gave it a bit of a motion blur to make it feel like there's more movement and action. Hit Kylo with a little glow. Kind of get some more of that texture in the ground so it doesn't feel like a perfect snowscape, but that there's there could be some branches or twigs kind of sticking up or maybe a fallen log. Kind of playing with the the glow on the ground there to make it kind of feel a little bit more curved. Here I'm throwing a little bit more texture and detail into the ground to kind of make it feel more gritty and 
real-ish. Playing around with the detail of the trees, adding a little spark. And then I'll add a few last minute Photoshop filters, a blur and a noise layer. And now my painting is complete. Hope you guys enjoyed. I should be doing a few more videos soon, so stay tuned.